Um, I'm just trying to decide if I'm comfortable even talking about that. This one's wife. 200,000 for Kate Picks. How'd you like that, Tao? Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. Now there was a time when the media loved you so they built you up but now they have brought you low see you've been a bad 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 knock and people now know so your brand is falling apart and i command 200k when i go to the shop so how you like that towel? 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 Yes. The sun, the super way, super soar away sun, they bid 200,000 pounds for those pictures and footage of Catherine at the farmer's market that have appeared recently. Mm -hmm. Dan Wooten, he of former GB News and Daily Mail, explained that the Sun beat the Daily Mail in a bidding war. He posted on X astonishing details behind the Sun's picture of Catherine. I'm told a member of the public sold it to the agency Southwest News. The Sun paid over £200,000 in a deal signed off by CEO Rebecca Brooks. Now, those of you who may recall Rebecca Brooks, the flame-haired individual who was once married to Ross Kemp, has been in the newspaper game for a long period of time. She's no fool, and therefore she will have wanted to ensure that those were verified pictures that confirmed that it was the Duchess of Sussex and the footage was genuine. But note the level of interest that a newspaper has beating the Daily Mail in that bidding war to lay their hands on the footage and the pictures which were then splashed all around the world. Compare this to Tao. What does she do? She walks in a car park having to notify the paparazzi herself as a woman, a member of the public, just walks past and ignores her. Yes, plenty of people comment about it, but not with regard to, ooh, doesn't she look great? Isn't that fantastic? But rather, isn't she fucking desperate? Doesn't she look ridiculous? Ensuring that she's papped walking across a car park. There she is in a parking lot. That her level of desperation is such that she needs to ensure that she's publicised in that way. That she regularly has to contact Backgrid to say, oh look, I'm just going to go and pick some burgers up. You might want to position yourself inside the restaurant with a lens pointing towards the serving hatch so you can catch me purchasing some burgers. Or alternatively, I am just happen to be walking along outside this particular sushi restaurant. Cameron Diaz will be outside. I want it to make it look like that we're close, personal friends. So take a picture of me walking in. Yes, I'm going to be at this particular restaurant, this particular time, dressed up like a zebra crossing. Yes, it's made by Grift. Make sure you're there. Oh, I just happen to be out shopping, dressed as a Jawa from Star Wars. You can cover that also. And thus we've been treated to repeated examples of... This one's wife being photographed when she's exiting restaurants, getting into cars, coming out of shops, going into shops, going into restaurants, walking across parking lots. Hardly inspirational stuff. Oh, look, here's another one emerging from the dentist with an anti-stress patch on her wrist. Was there a bidding war for any of those photographs? No. In actual fact, she needed to tell them to take pictures, to put it in the press. She has to pay for PR puff pieces, for people to take an interest in her. So can you imagine that when she, driven by her narcissism, 
has this level of desperation to be viewed because she needs the fuel, because she needs to quell that nagging itch, that she needs to pour something into the gulf, into the chasm that exists at the heart of her, that she experiences that sense of emptiness, but she doesn't really know what causes it, that it makes her feel unsettled, that it makes her feel nervous, on edge and anxious, that she's compelled to seek that attention because it makes her feel better. It makes her feel that she matters. It makes her feel more powerful. So she has to ring an agency and convince them to pop out and take some photographs so that they'll appear in various publications. And they do, and they are talked about. So the tactic works to that extent that she is gaining attention, albeit much of it is challenge fuel as people ridicule her for this behaviour. But imagine how she feels when she learns that footage of the Princess of Wales popping along to the shops with her husband results in not only fevered speculation, but it prompted a bidding war. Now, of course, it's not Catherine that gets the money. She wouldn't be interested in that anyway. It's the member of the public that has. But they receive 200,000 pounds that a newspaper was willing because they know the level of interest that exists in the princess of wales this one's wife couldn't hope to get anywhere near that sum she'd like to think that she could her deluded narcissism probably would cause her to believe oh i they'd bid that for me if they needed to the answer is of course they wouldn't why because although there is interest in her her interest pales into insignificance next to the Princess of Wales. Furthermore, as a consequence of her desperate thirst for fuel and to assert control, this one's wife is in effect devalued her own stock by making herself so publicly available, by ensuring that she can be seen entering a restaurant, exiting a restaurant, and so forth. Notice that when this one's wife hasn't been seen for a few weeks, and intermittently that does occur. There isn't a fevered speculation about what she's doing. Afterwards, of course, people will say, yes, she's not been seen because she's probably having some cosmetic surgery. But there isn't the level of speculation as to what's going on, the level of interest that there is with regard to the Princess of Wales. And there certainly isn't a bidding war. And thus, the fact that there was a bidding war that went up to £200,000 for pictures of Catherine at the farmer's market, equates to a level of interest that was seen with Diana, Princess of Wales, the person that this one's wife seeks to duplicate. And the fact that she doesn't get that level of interest, she doesn't get that level of bidding in relation to her, will wound her. There would undoubtedly be some more smashing of crockery over at Montesquieu when she learns that this is what the level of interest in the Princess of Wales is and the amount that was bid for her. That she, of course, singularly failed to get to this position because of her conduct and behaviours. And thus, look where she is now, seething with envy as her sister-in-law who isn't interested in the attention, who isn't interested in the sums being exchanged for footage of her, commands that level of interest, those level of fees. And this one's wife can only look on with that gnawing envy, the wounding hitting her heart. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening. <laughs>